So I just wanted to have a have a little chat with you guys. I went to Summer Sonic in Osaka, which is like um music festival, pretty big in Japan. A lot of um what do, what do you call it? Abroad artist, artists from all over the world come to this festival. Yeah, it's an annual thing, but you know due to the pandemic these last three years, um, we didn't have that, but this was the first Summer Sonic in uh, three four years. Yeah, I went to that. I went to the last last one actually in nineteen nineteen ninety nineteen no no not nineteen. Oh my god, it's oh my god. Maybe I'm just thinking too much about nineteen seventy five. Anyways, it was 2019, yeah, three years ago, there you go. Yeah, that was my first experience in Summer Sonic and, and, I, and I saw Bring Me The Horizon, that was big, that was pretty big, but actually, it, it's funny that um, I don't really remember about anything that happened in the, in, in the show Bring Me The Horizon. I don't know, maybe sometimes I... I'm not good at you know remembering things when i when i uh <clears throat> when I'm talking with friends i don't I don't realize but I ask the same question too many times and and they 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 like how many times do you ask that I'm like I'm sorry, my brain doesn't work well sometimes, but interestingly i'm I'm pretty good at school flex so yeah, I've been always wondering. Why that is so back to the samsonic this year 1990 no uh, 1975 was a lot that was a lot it's wednesday and three days after after that show but i still can't get over get over the the feeling yoing in japanese they they were the headliner the show I suppose and I and it, it started with if you're too shy let me know which is like I only recently knew about the song but ever ever since that moment I was like crazy about it I, I listened to it like a million times and I, and I was so happy that that they that they chose that one for the first song and after that um they played like, you know, I only know a few songs by them. I'm not really the biggest fan. You know, still, I'm a really big fan. I started to listen to them um, in high school, so three or four years ago. Their songs, they, um, oh my god, so pretty. I think it's um, inspired by 80s pop songs, uh, you know, um, simple drum beat and uh synthesizer fancy chords and pretty catching melodies that that kind of stuff you, you know what i mean you know them you know about them to be honest i i didn't really ex expect the show was going to be so big thing in my memory honestly i was thinking like I was gonna I was gonna go home before before the 1975 show that that was that was the last schedule on the table before that I already I already saw Bibi Doobie the Linda Lindas Squid that was crazy too and uh old time low Monas King they were they're pretty crazy too on the the offspring that's like all famous pop star and rock bands in the history i was so excited guys i got pretty exhausted it was so hot outside this the sun was shining crazy and even though i was wearing a hat I got my face tanned, sweat as waterfall, and um, yeah, that. Oh my god, I, I, 
I was really tired. I wanted to go home as soon as possible, but I took a rest. I took a little rest at the round um, 4 p.m. and I uh, and I got well again. So I decided to see the last show. That was the best choice I've ever made because the 1975 show after that, that was, oh my God, history. So anyways, It was so all over the place, but I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. Oh, by the way, I bought this little candle thing today on Amazon. But I think it's um dimmer than I expected. But I think it's it it looks really cool. I think I'm gonna go. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm, I think I'm gonna keep it. So, yeah, good night, guys. Check out my new covers, all right? Old covers, too. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go.